Everybody else, but nothing really happened, of course, until one day something happened, and one word, one word led to another, and the last word led to the divorce. Now here were two grown-up people who failed to use common sense. They strengthened their own selfish pride and little feelings. You know, she never asked to be brought to this world to drift from cover to post. But a divorce never stopped to consider the one that hurts the most. To be a lot more always loving in this wicked old world today. If just a few parted parents to hear the little sweet say, Lord, take me away and hold to my hand. Oh, heavenly Father, help me understand. I sang in many bars from Patterson, maybe every country, western bar, and rock and roll place. I had many contracts come in front of my face, but I denied them because I was married with children and I didn't want to leave my wife and children home. Because I just wanted to have this story come true like the song I just sang. So I stayed and never went out to try anything big until today at my age, age five years old. My dreams are coming true. I have no one around me, no family. I have family that love me, but they're doing the best they can, and we're all struggling with our life. We have seen a divorce with two people. They don't realize the children that they have. They were blessed by God. They were blessed by God to be born, and you can take care of them. But a divorce, it doesn't think about that. Let them think about a child, how a child hurts. I know. I was a child once myself, and my father's mother got a divorce. And I know how bad it hurts. And now you can say, Lord, take me and hold to my hand. 
Oh, heavenly Father, help me understand. For all the sun of Catholic Church. My name is August. So Pastor Gilbert today, just change my name. My name is Austin. Austin, not August. Austin. Austin, change God. Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. 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 I see the um, 2023 Madonna Gospel Fest winner in the solo category just came in. Amen. 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 Just want to acknowledge everyone. Amen. Bebony, Harvey. Amen. That's how to pronounce her name. Amen. 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 The minister, amen. I don't want to mess up your name, but you can say your name. Peter and Ashley. Okay, one of my favorite singers. Amen. Wow. Me and this guy, we got history. Amen. He played for a lot of great groups in the day. The living legends, the soft wings, ZG ZG, get that power. I came to the rock. Yeah, yeah, he was one of the, he was the drummer. Amen. He also, we went down to Hemingway, South Carolina. Um, and we had to do a show down in Hemingway. It was the soft wings and church man in concert. And this brother had played for both of us, and we had church. Right. He's not only a drummer, but he also a professional gospel singer. Yes. Amen? Amen. 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 And he got some projects that he's going to be doing with Mickey's production in the near future. Amen? Let's give it up for LeGene Austin of Patterson, New Jersey. Amen. Amen. Everybody give God a hand and pray. Amen. And I leave my bones to worship yes. of my soul. Take joy, my king, and what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I
He said, praise the Lord. He praised the Lord of power. I am praying for God in the glory.
Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. This person that's about to come up, she's like a sister to me. All right. Amen. I met her at a event at the fall. I knew her way back then. She used to park her car in the parking garage in the downtown Patterson, New Jersey every year. Um... She's a humble woman of God. She loves Jesus. Amen. All right, all right. She loves to minister and praise. Amen. Amen. Let's give her up for Jaconda. Glory. For the
to know that the, the, the special guest is in the house tonight. Amen? Amen. Amen. The special guest is in the house tonight. Amen. We got the surprise guest in the house tonight. Okay. And I want to call him up. He can introduce himself better. Let's give off for the surprise guest. Amen. 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 He's going to talk about what he do in Bouquet County. Amen. 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 We got some great people here. Let's give off for the surprise Amen. guest. Crazy. Good afternoon, world. My name is Rodney Addison. I'm a nutritionist based out of Patterson, New Jersey. I'm also uh, the owner of Deliberate Nutrition Supplement Company, amongst other things. But the good brother Elvis asked me today to come speak to you on the real wealth, which is health. So if you have any questions on nutrition, fitness, or otherwise, let me hear it. We're going to talk about anything you saw on social media, your own personal goals, something you may want to be debunked. Let me hear it. I'm here to answer your questions. So while you think about your questions, I want to just give you my quick spill about what is health. Health is specific to the individual need, not to a food preference, not to an eating preference, and not to what, you, what your guru may deem what's beneficial because what's right for you may harm another. Right. Always keep that in mind that what is right for you has to be specific to your individual need. And what does that mean? If you yourself as an individual cannot digest completely, completely, mechanically and chemically, that which you consume cannot be the, um, mechanically and chemically broken down so the body can absorb it and metabolize into living tissue. No matter what you deem healthy, eat all the vegetables you want. If I cannot fully extract the nutritional content, there will be no benefit. So if your goal is fat loss, muscle building, or otherwise, you must first learn how to do so for your individual need. And it always starts with what? Go into your physician, get that blood work done, get that physical done, so they can learn you the individual components of what is missing in your individual uh, blood makeup. So great example. If you are an individual who may be anemic, most people of color are, because we, are, we, we uh, culturally do not eat enough vegetables. Okay. We culturally on the East Coast do not get enough vitamin D, why? We are not out in the sun long enough for our body to metabolize UVI, which is then synthesized into what we know as vitamin D. So when you are thinking about what is healthy for you, you also want to think about symptomatic approaches. If I eat this and I feel like this and I don't like how I feel, there's a correlation there. Okay. It may not be the cause, but is a contributor to why I may feel and operate the way I do. Why? That which I do not provide sufficiently my body cannot perform. So if your goal is to go out there and be your most abundant self, and I don't feed my body according, according to how my body feels, I, I cannot reflect that better version of myself. Great example, if I go to the gym, fasted, I may not be able to push the weight to my potential. Why? I did not supply my body the components that becomes ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. It's the actual energy molecule that feeds the mitochondria of the, of the muscle cell to be explosive. So if I don't feed my body the sufficiency and caloric nutritional value, I cannot create the actual hormone and chemical that provides me the performance needed to be my best self. So to that point, does anybody have any questions thus far? Your own personal goals, something you may saw on social media, something you want to have debunked, <coughs> so forth. I saw on social media that okay. they were saying that almond milk is not good for you. Okay. So first and foremost, there are there is honestly no such thing as a healthy food or unhealthy because ultimately it comes down to can my body utilize it to completion? Whether it's vegetable or not. Great example. Do you like broccoli? Yes. I as an individual cannot digest broccoli to completion 
because of the molecule rap noise it possesses, which mimics fiber, it agitates my GI tract. So if I cannot digest that healthy food to completion, where is my benefit? So if someone is telling you that specifically it is almond milk that is not unhealthy, tell them, ask them, where's the science, first and foremost, and how it makes you feel is not how it makes me feel. If I don't have any GERD, blow, diphtheritis, gastritis, PCOS, fibroids, etc., upon doing so in a trendy manner, then it is of no harm to me as an individual. It is so easy to demonize a food when something is wrong on the individual base so they make it generalize, generalize it so the world can be feared by it as well. You will not find not one study that says the populace in a majority manner um, that would say that almonds or almond milk is of harm to a body of people. Not a person, a body of people. You won't find a study that says so. So be mindful when you're, you're scrolling through social media and there's someone who has like a million and one followers and they spew in a face like that. It's because they most likely have something to pitch behind it, but buy this pill, buy that supplement, buy my book, my, my program. Yeah, gimmick. Go get your blood work done. See what your physician says based on what the blood work says. And if there's an issue, they refer you off to what? A specialist who can tell you, more, furthermore, based on your genetic makeup, hormonal makeup, body type, etc., you may want to either reduce the consumption of or eliminate altogether. Any other questions? Go ahead, good brother. CMOS. See, now this is one of those popular topics that goes, it's marketing. Unfortunately, CMOS does not do what it is marketed as, as supposed to be doing. CMOS is a mineral that can possess almost 97 of the 103 mi um, um, micronutrients. That is true. Does not mean you will absorb all of it does not mean you will be able to extract all of it. does not mean you will be a benefit to you as an individual, even more so. They are marketed as, oh, if you take two teaspoons or tablespoons, that's all you'll need. Wrong. Why? The nutritional benefit is based on the caloric density. So a tablespoon of sea moss is only three calories. How much nutritional value are you getting into, into three calories? Not much at all. What, 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 what they're studying on the back end is if you change your lifestyle as a whole in conjunction with you will find benefit, but it wasn't a CMOS. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take it, but it is a microcosm of of the what you need for the day on top of what you're doing all, all, all on top of what you do well, on top of what you're doing already. So if you're already drinking more water, if you're already getting more quality sleep, if you're already consuming more macro micronutrient density aside from the CMOS, you, you're already you're already there. That's just an added bonus. Any other questions? What about uh, diabetes? That type one and type two. Yeah. Type one. So he has the individual saying, "What do you have? He has type one diabetes." So the type one diabetics, they no longer can make insulin, which means that their pancreas can no longer no longer make the hormone insulin, which is supposed to grab onto glucose molecules, transport it into the liver, so it can be broken down. And if, and if it does not, pardon me, broke. Uh, put it into the uh, to the bloodstream, and if it does not, the excess insulin, excess glucose will start attacking the liver, which then becomes diabetes. Um, first and foremost, let me debunk this real quick by answering this question: Sugar does not cause diabetes. Carbs does not cause diabetes. Fat does not cause diabetes. It is the complication of you abusing a food item that your body cannot do deal with in excessive quantity because you abused it. Wasn't the food. If you had a medical predisposition to it prior to, either you knew about it already and ignored it, and or you didn't know about it because you didn't want to get your physicals, and, and that is a bad habit of our culture, go get those physicals, and or it probably manifested over the long term because of lifestyle habits. So if you are type 1 diabetic, it is recommended that you do one thing, get educated on what is the glycemic load and glycemic index. The glycemic index will indicate foods that are low in, the glass, uh, low in sugar content, whereas the glycemic load will tell you how much sugar you're actually absorbing upon consumption. Everything you consume does not get absorbed because you need, you need that those molecules to become energy, which gets put everywhere to keep your life balanced. So great example, the way the glycemic load works is a formula. If I have, let's say, four ounces of brown rice, that brown rice has 16 grams of carbohydrates, 
If you divide that by the glycemic index of the rice, divide that by 100, it tells me that I'm only going to absorb 7 grams out of 16 grams. And the rule of thumb, medically, they tell you to only make sure you absorb no more than 100 grams per day. So that's not to say he cannot have carbohydrates, but the quantified amount he's allowed to absorb must be managed. And the, and the obvious thing, you know, as wholesome as possible, as organic as possible, but even then, it comes down to how well does your body process what you're providing. Because unfortunately, here in America, we have the worst soil on the entire planet. And your food is only as nutritionally dense as the, as the ground it comes out of. And there's a reason why when you go to the Asian continent, their farmland is on the far end of the continent. And they put everything else on top of each other because they, because they know. The quality of my food will depict the quality of my life. Does that answer your question, though? Yes, sir. Any other questions? Reason being, to that exact point, juicing is the process of, of extracting. It is the removal of pulp and fiber, which is the bulk of the nutritional value in any fruits and vegetables. So once I extract it, I end up with the water and the keratin, which is only the coloring of it. So you have to consume three or four times the quantified of the caloric amount of that juice of just eating that one vegetable or fruit. So it's not to say that it's not beneficial to you, you have to just consume more of it, right? I would rather blend in or eat it as is and then they have to drink uh, a half a gallon of that juice to get the equal equal uh, ratio of nutritional value. Thanks. Introduce yourself, your contact information. Oh. Okay. If you'd like to get in contact with me, you can yes. find me on my website at radisonwellness.com. You can um, take my number down at 862-284-7481, and, or you can find me on Facebook at Rodney Addison. What's your phone number again? 862-284-7481.